Good morning, y'all. It is Sunday, and I figured I would start episode two of my dissertation diary series here. I know, I know. It's been a minute since my last video. Also, how is it already almost the end of September? Life honestly has been a little hectic the past few weeks, but I'm finally getting into more of a routine now that the school year has officially started. This video is a bit of a mashup of dissertation slash schoolwork and work work. I debated keeping these videos strictly about PhD related things, but a lot of my days are structured to accommodate both PhD and work and other life stuff. So I decided to keep it in here because I feel like it gives you a more accurate representation of what my PhD journey has been like thus far. Hope you enjoy episode two. I'm walking to campus now, and I used to walk this route when I would go to my Panera Tuesdays, which if you're wondering what Panera Tuesdays are, I would just go to Panera on Tuesdays. Yeah, I would just go to Panera on Tuesdays and in between classes and eat, but I forgot how hilly this is, this walk back to campus is. Made it. It is not necessarily hot today, but it is very humid. back from the kind of weekend seminar. I'm going to just take a second to breathe. I took a lunch break, watched some YouTube videos because it's my favorite way of decompressing. And now I am having my afternoon coffee. Doing, gonna pour in my, my little eucalyptus essential oils, do a little bit of work before my 2.30 meeting. And then I also would like to exercise at some point today. That's the plan. I hope I stick to it. <laughs> I now have about an hour till my next meeting. I am going to, I think, start my city training and try to get that ball moving because I've just been dragging my feet with it and I don't want it to expire. In case you didn't know, city training or like city program is basically like a standard for research ethics and compliance. It's the trusted standard in research ethics, compliance, and safety training. So my university requires us to be city trained and I did it the fall semester of my first year. So it's good for three years and I only do it for specific courses. Okay, so here you can see the courses that I need to complete. These all both ex expire on September 8th, I think. I will complete these two and start working on it now.
I just finished about a 30 minute work session and it went well. I'm very glad I was able to read a chapter of this book. Um, I'm really struggling to get back into reading and just finding some time and mental energy to do it. One thing I'm trying to do is instead of doing work tasks in the morning, trying to wait until the afternoon to do those because I want to try and focus on my PhD work first and then my, you know, kind of work work second, especially because right now I'm working part-time and they know I'm doing other things. So it's not that I'm not also prioritizing that work, but I think before I would always try to do work stuff first and then do PhD, but the priorities really need to be switched so that this, this, this work, my, PhD is my priority. <laughs> um, so it is a fundamental shift that I think will maybe be a little bit challenging for me to make. So I'm just trying to give myself a little bit of, give myself a little bit of grace as I navigate that switch. I went to campus around 7.50. Like I left for campus, it's about a half an hour walk. So it was nice because by the time I already got to campus, I had basically already closed my exercise ring. Didn't really have time to actually vlog. <laughs> but I have some time before my next meeting and I'm just going to put in the attendance from today's class, send the professor a couple of notes or questions based on what we talked about today and then also make some changes to the latte page which is just kind of the page for all the students it's really interesting first class it was eight an 8 30 class so it's kind of early but students showed up it seems like the people who take the class are interested in the topic yeah i think it'll be a good semester oh the other thing i wanted to talk about as well i'm trying to kind of lean into more of the traditional academic things a little bit more and part of that is applying to fellowships and just applying to grants and stuff. And rejection is obviously part of academia. It's part of life in general. And what I'm trying to really get better at, what I'm, what the muscle I'm really trying to exercise is applying to more things and getting rejected and just getting used to getting rejected. What brought this on today was that I applied for this fellows program. Found out a while ago that I didn't get it. And I think even when I was applying for it, I was like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get this, but I'm gonna apply anyway. You know, I'm on the listserv of the place where I applied to. And so they were announcing the winners of the fellowship. I was looking at the list and there's two people from a university who got the fellowship. And so I was kind of like, oh, imagining like, what was like what was wrong with my application just thinking through all these things it sucked for a little bit i was like in kind of a sad head space for like maybe half an hour i think this rule that i'm gonna try and have for myself is i'll apply to things at least twice i don't know if i can do more than twice though i'm trying to get better at it i think i am but all that is to say now i'm going to take care of some tasks we, i have a big work event tomorrow grant is coming to an end i'm very excited because this event is going to be great but also it's been a lot of work we're going to keep it moving i guess it's fine oh i gotta fix my makeup <laughs> to the commuter rail and it's already 80 degrees at 9 30 in the morning which i don't know exactly know what that is in celsius but today it's supposed to get as high as 94 which is 34 in celsius
940. I have a meeting with my chair in about 20 minutes. Last night's event went really well. It was, of course, whenever you plan an event and you're the one on the back end doing a lot of things, like it can be kind of stressful. But everybody I talked to said that they felt like the event went smoothly. So as long as they felt like the event went smoothly, then usually it's fine. Something that I said in welcoming everybody was that as a project manager, sometimes things can just feel not meaningless, but it's like you're doing a lot of coordination and a lot of that is like meetings and emails. And this is something where the work that I was doing actually felt real. Like it was an opportunity for this work to feel real. And I was just really grateful that the parents let me be a part of it and that we could make the event happen. It is gonna be busy again. <laughs> and I have my meeting with my chair. And then after that, I have a work meeting. I also need to finalize some work pieces just from the event, some other work initiatives that are happening and thank you emails. And then after that, I have a podcast meeting with Kaylin. We wanna bring it back, we wanna keep doing it because we both like it. Podcast meeting, and then at two o'clock, I have a meeting with Liz. <laughs> In between that time somehow, I need to finish my a portion of my final project for this earlier micro-credentialing class I did on past and future of education in America. Then I have to go to campus to do a presentation and celebration dinner with the other students, the dean, and we get our certificates. And then I'm going directly from the school to Grace's birthday celebration. And on the way, I need to pick up her gift. I don't think it'll be too late of an evening, but I'll come back because tomorrow I have seminar. I had graduate pedagogy seminar. Thank <laughs> you.